Hey y'all, it's Melissa from The Little Ford That Could. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new here. Today I am going to be sharing with you how I prepare my gather round unit studies for, um, for my kiddos and myself. So if you're interested in seeing how um, I do that, I do order the digital versions of the gather round units. If you are interested in seeing how I put those together, um, then stick around. Okay, so I have all four books printed. Um, that is the teacher's guide for me and then my three student books are printed. Um, the covers have been laminated and then all the pages are printed front and back. And so my next step is um, it's the end of the day and so Office Depot is closed. But tomorrow morning I'm gonna take these to Office Depot and get them um, spiral bound and then they'll be ready to go so that's my next step okay guys so it's the next day and I just got my office depot order so um, I ran these over after I printed them um, and laminated the covers I ran these over to office depot and it was super cheap they spout, spiral bound them for me and so you can see they are front and back um, and they're really nice um, and so I have a notebook for each child and then I also have my teacher's guide all of them are exactly the same well I mean exactly the same as in how I um, here's the back so the front cover I don't know how you, well easily you can tell but it's laminated the back cover is laminated so um, Office Depot gives you the option to purchase a cover when you do spiral bound but because I laminate mine I don't need that so I don't pay extra for that I just make it at home I print this on cardstock and then laminate it and they're super durable we haven't had any trouble with them at all in um, past units and one of my sons in particular is really hard hard on stuff and um, his have held up beautifully 
Um, and then I did also laminate the um, these. So they're also printed on cardstock. I don't know if you can hear that noise, but they're very durable too. Um, I've done this with all of our units, like the bird flashcards and um, the flag, the country's flags, and those kinds of things. Um, and just so you know as well, if you didn't see my other video about this, the units that come with a cursive book, I do use those cursive books with my older two. I don't think you can ever practice handwriting too much. Um, and so what I did to make us um, have less things, less stuff, I bound the student notebook and the cursive book together as one book. That way, um, my kids only have one book to keep up with for Gather Round. They just grab their Gather Round book and it's everything they need. Um, now, I do still put a back laminated cover on, on the book as if I bound it by itself. And I put a front laminated on cardstock cover and a back cover on that too. And the reason I do that is because it makes it much easier and quicker for them to just flip to the cursive book from wherever they are in the in the notebooking pages so like if you know we're at the beginning or the middle of a lesson for you know for example and then they're they're finished with those pages for that day they can super easily I don't know if you can see but I can super easily switch over and get to my cursive book real quick and then I do the same thing with the cookbooks and the teacher's guide so if you're familiar with the Asia unit, um, it comes with the Asia cookbook, and I do the same thing here. Um, I, I, I had the cookbook bound with the teacher's guide notebook. So it's one book, that way it's all together, and I don't, um, I don't have to go searching for where I put the cookbook. It's right here with my teacher's guide. So again, same applies for me. I just have one gather round book to grab and then I have all my recipes there with me. And once again, I laminate the cover as though I were binding it separate because it makes it quicker to turn to the cookbook when I'm ready for that. So that, and you can see we're done with Asia and you can see how well this is my child that's <laughs> tends to tear things up really easily but it still looks pretty much brand new on the outside now the inside may be a bit of a different story <laughs> but he did pretty good with the inside too but um you can see that it's held up really well for him um so there you have it that's how um i prepare and bind my gather round um, notebooks. Now, I will say there is a um, spiral binder on Amazon that I know some of you have and I've contemplated getting it so that I don't have to always go um, to Office Depot to get the, the spiral binding done for me. Um, but they're not quite the same because they're not a true spiral. They like click together and I'm just not sure that I would like that. But if anybody has that, I'd love to know what you think about that spiral binder. Um, I don't like comb binders. Those are not, those do not hold up well. So don't recommend a comb binder. I already know I don't want one of those. Um, the Office Depot is really close to my house like really close like it's five minutes away um which is nice and it's convenient and because i have older kids it's really easy for me to just leave the kids at home and run over there so i don't feel like running to office depot to get this done is super inconvenient or anything and it's not time consuming most of the time i drop it off and it's ready within an hour or two and i run back and get it or I go back and get it the next day it also happens to be right on the way to my grocery store where i do most of my grocery shopping so like I said, it's really con it's really pretty convenient for me. So it really doesn't bother me that much. And it's not that expensive either. I, I want to say I paid, um, 
maybe 10 or $15 to get the four notebooks done for our space unit. So, um, I don't know, like I said, it's really durable. Um, so I don't think I mind that, but I would like to know what you think if you have that. I can't think of what it's called right off the top of my head, but it's a spiral binder that you can use at home, but it like the, the they click together like this. And so you click them. Um, anyway, if you have one of those, or if you can think of what it's called, let me know what you think of it in the comments. If you like it, if you think it's worth the money, does it save you money versus going to Office Depot? Um, we also get book studies spiral bound at Office Depot. And there's some other things I do get spiral bound to at Office Depot. So I don't know if, I don't know. I can't decide if it would be worth the investment or if I even like the clicky, the clicky ones or not. Um, they don't seem like they would be as like, like see these bend pretty easily and I'm not sure that those clicky ones do and the pictures they look really like more like hard plastic. Anyway, now at this point I'm just rambling, sorry. <laughs> if you have one of those, let me know what you think about it in the comments um, below. And um, I'm, I guess that's it. I am done. I am a little um, harebrained today. Um, so that is how we get our gather round units prepped for um, study. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's a really easy, quick way you can help support my channel. Also, if you like homeschool content and you haven't already hit that red subscribe button, please do. I have something exciting coming up the first week in August and you don't want to miss it. So hit that red subscribe button so that you'll make sure you don't miss my exciting first week of August that's coming. And I'll see y'all next time.